Hey, what's up guys? Little Man with a Big Opinion here. Um, today's video, I was hoping to do a nickel box hunt. Uh, I went to one Wells Fargo and they said, you know, due to, due to COVID, um, we aren't getting as many boxes of coins in because their lobby has been closed this whole time and you had to order them and I don't like ordering coins. Um, because I don't have a lot of money to be doing that. Um, nickels, you have to order four boxes at a time. Um, whereas before this whole virus started, as long as they had boxes on hand, um, outside of their normal amount to keep for transactions and business owners and stuff, um, you know, they would give you a box if you had $100, if you had $400 to give you four boxes, just kind of depended. Um, so I went to another Wells Fargo, um, the, the bigger one for our area, and I picked up two boxes. I had $200. I hadn't done any hunting videos in a while. Um, and you know, I deliver pizza and the whole time I deliver pizza, I listen to slash watch YouTube. Um, and I've been watching a lot of Rob Finds Treasure recently and Silver Picker and International Stack. This, that crowd of YouTubers. And since I've been doing a lot of videos talking about my, um, you know, stocks, I wanted to talk about other ways that I, you know, increase my net worth, um, other ways I make money. And I thought that would be a great video to do. Um... And I'm also not a super assertive. Essentially, the two boxes I got were both um, brand new 2020 nickels. Um, and I didn't want to go back in there and ask them, you know, for different boxes. Um, because the likelihood of them having circulated boxes might have been low. Um, just, it just depended. And I got two boxes and they were both circulated. Or uncirculated um, nickels. But, don't completely count out your luck. Um, so as a coin collector, you know, I've got one box sitting here. You know, I just pulled out a roll. They're very, very shiny. They're all 2020s. If they're not all 2020s, then I'd be surprised. Um, but it's a good idea. You know, one roll is $2 in nickels. Um, if you can spend twenty, forty, a hundred dollars on silver or stocks, um, then you can hold on to one roll of these. And I say that because, as an uncirculated box, you know that hasn't probably seen any other person's pockets or anything, um, they might not be worth anything to um, someone in your lifetime. But definitely past your lifetime, um, going to your kids and having really good looking coins. Um, the other thing that I have seen people do um, at coin shows, and I went to a, um, it's a gun show, but they kind of let a bunch of people in there. And so some people do the coin collecting and silver and stuff, is they just have a giant bin of rolled coins that they've wrote on there you know the mint that it came from and the year they have it and one of the gentlemen that was doing that he was in his like 80s um and so he's a lot more prepared than i am but every single year he would keep seven eight nine rolls of all these different coins and he would sell them to people that needed to fill in a spot in their book. Like a, they, they specifically needed the you know 1991 um, you know penny or something. And he'd dig around and he'd pull out a whole roll, and he'd sell you a penny that really has no value for. I he was selling for like four or five cents a piece for the pennies. The nickels he was selling for uh, like 10 cents or 8 cents. So, you know, he's he's created a market in something that I really didn't think was a market. Um, and
And so if you do ever plan on setting up a booth at a coin show or anything, uh, then someone who is either new to coin collecting or they might just do coin roll hunting to fill books or something like that, you know, I'll pull another one out. You've got this roll that you can say, look, I've got the 2020 nickel um, from Philadelphia or the 2020 nickel from Denver. Um, they're uncirculated uh, because I got a box, you know, a few months back or depending on when someone specifically wants a 2020 coin, um, you can say, you know, they're uncirculated, we'll open the roll up and I'll dish one out and then you just kind of hold on to the rest of them. Um, there's 50 rolls in one of these boxes, so you really only need to hold on to, I'd say between one and five, unless you're a very, very avid person that, you know, that's your complete job is, you know, selling coins and silver and stuff at shows like that. Um, and, you know, that this guy, you know, I, I thought he was doing a very honest service, and the only thing he did was when he got a box that instead of him being able to search it, you know, nickel-wise, you know, looking for liberties, buffaloes, silvers, and then some other key varieties and errors, uh, you know, he had just held on to a little bit of his money, and it paid off. Uh, so, you know, I did that with, I have one roll of 2019 pennies, and one roll of uh, 2019 nickels, and now I'm going to hold on to one, now that my finances are a little bit better, I might hold on to two or three of them, um, and they're just going to sit somewhere, and, you know, say when I go down to you know, a coin collecting club or uh, someone else in the families, you know, into coin collecting, you know, I can, you know, give them one or if I were to ever to set up a booth, um, you know, in all honesty, I would only sell them for like six or seven cents um, because if someone really, really wanted it, they could probably find an uncirculated box, especially for 2020s um, because, you know, the, the mints are told how many they need to print off each year or stamp out each year. And, you know, it, they don't just have them all pre-made in 2019 and they just release every single one of them into the market in 2020. They slowly print them off throughout the year. Um, so, at least for 2020, the likelihood of you finding boxes like this are pretty high but say you found an uncirculated box of 2019 18 17 you know whatever i'd hold on to a roll maybe two um and it it depends on your level of resale and how much of it's a business versus a hobby uh that you would want to hold on to a whole box you know um i did watch one of rob fine's treasure videos where he opened a box of uncirculated 2019 pennies and he just held onto the whole box. Um, I can't tell for certain if he still has that box or what, but essentially he's got a lot of pennies that are in perfect condition or near perfect, like anywhere between like MS-67 and MS-70. Um, so... I will go to the bank tomorrow. Um, I'll just I'll take these rolls to my bank that has a coin counter. But since they're still all wrapped, I should just be able to exchange it and get cash. And then I'll go back to Wells Fargo and I'll do another video tomorrow. Uh, but all hope is not lost because there is still uh, the ability to make a little bit of money. It's not you know the game changer of. I went through a $25 box of pennies and I found a $600, you know, 1909 or whatever. You know, it's it's not, you know, game-changing money, but it is a strategy for people that do coin roll hunting or maybe you're kind of wanting to start, you know, setting up a booth somewhere or anything like that. 
So, outside of that, you know, just this specific topic, I don't have anything for you guys. Um, hopefully, this was informational, informative, whatever you want to call it. I don't really think there was anything of entertainment out of this video, uh, but you never know. So, leave your thoughts and suggestions, comments, all that down below. Um, I, I do link my Robin Hood in all my videos, um, and my family suggested linking my Venmo and Cash App if people like to uh, leave a tip if they feel like they learn something or whatever. Uh, so all that will be down below in the description. I hope you have a great day. Happy investing. You know, happy corner hunting, stacking, whatever you do. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.